Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Welcome to this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo for December 27th, 2023. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. I do believe you all know my pal Bugsy hanging out over there in his usual spot. And I hope your Wednesday is going well. Maybe you're taking it a little bit easy during this Christmas break. Whatever the case may be, I hope your day is a good one. Once again today, for our devotional thought, we turn to Pastor Alistair Begg and his book, Truth for Life. This is the second volume of Pastor Begg's collection of daily devotions, copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. Going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Matthew 2.11 When the wise men came to Jerusalem in search of the king of the Jews at the end of what was likely an 800-mile journey, they quickly discovered that they had arrived in the wrong place. They came to the king's palace in Jerusalem because of an entirely logical deduction. They thought the palace in the capital city would be the best place to begin looking for a king. Yet they soon realized that they were going to need more guidance than the stars could provide. When King Herod heard that the wise men were inquiring about the birth of a new king, he assembled the chief priests and scribes who determined that Christ was to be born in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, Matthew 2.5. The religious specialists were themselves indifferent to this great knowledge, but they demonstrated to the wise men that they needed the scriptures to point them in the right direction. God may employ all kinds of extraordinary means to draw people to himself, but he always brings them to his word, the Bible, in order that they might encounter the living word, his son. There is no other way to God except by Christ of God, who is revealed to us in the Word of God. Having been led by the Scriptures to Jesus, the wise men then made their greatest discovery. Worshiping Christ was the only appropriate response. When they finally encountered Jesus, they fell down, worshiped Him, and offered Him gifts. In the same way, whatever God may use to trigger our thinking and investigation of the truth, whenever he finally brings us to Jesus, we do not arrive before him as arrogant researchers. No, when our eyes are open to the majesty of King Jesus, we bow before him in humility, wonder, and awe. In your search for the truth, have you yet discovered that the Bible is the surest guide? And having discovered Christ, have you also discovered that mere knowledge of him is insufficient? That the only right response is worship, laying before him the best of all you have, your time, your possessions, your energies, your heart. You know you have grasped the message of the first Christmas. If you have sensed that there is a God who is at work, if you have met with Jesus, his son, through his word, and if you have bowed down before him, and now offer him your daily life. For more on this, turn to the Old Testament and read Psalms 29. Father, as we find ourselves here in the days following Christmas and before the new year begins, we often have time to reflect, time to consider what the year has been and what the new year may be. And in the midst of all this, Father, may we come face to face with you. May we acknowledge you as our Savior and our King with an understanding of how desperately we need you, Lord. Bless us today, Father. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo. Before I go, I do want to remind everyone that because we're in that time between the holidays, between Christmas and New Year, there will be no Wednesday night live stream tonight. First Congregational Church will not go live tonight as we normally do. We'll pick that up again next week, actually, <laughs> next year. <laughs> so until uh, tomorrow, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.